Yes team, what is happening? Welcome to another episode of the Marathon Series. So it's Sunday morning, it's early, I'm still in bed, so that's why I'm really quiet. I have currently got the stiffest neck in Liverpool as the last couple of nights I've slept funny, so I've got that neck where I can't turn it. This morning though, we are off to do our last run of the week. So being quite quiet on the whole vlog just because this week's been quite not a boring one, but quite an easy one. We've had a D-Lo this week, so we've had a few runs that have just been like a nice, easy 5K. It's been really, really busy, so it's a case of them runs just being slotted in when I could fit them in. And that's left me with a little bit of room to do. So today, instead of going and I'm doing the last 5K, we're going to meet the team for 5K. But Ben's just on his way to ours now. I'm going to get another 6 or 7K in, maybe take up to 10 to 12K to get a, new, a little bit more mileage in the tank. So that's what we're doing today. Just had a coffee, about to sip on these electrolytes, and then we're gonna get out and meet him outside. So we are five and a half K with the boys. Feeling good. I said jump on in air program because air distance is a little bit longer than mine, so yeah. A few more K to go until we get to the park. Probably at least a little bit late. As you can see, let's be the rest of the team, let's go. So there we have it, 10.3 kilometers in the bag. Just got to the Lark Lane now. Pace 5.5, so I'll put all the details on here. So that's the last run of this week. As I said, we'll have a little bit of a breakdown later. It's been quite a quiet week, so we'll have a little bit of a, um, a look over the week as a whole. I've also got some body fat stats, which I'm impressed with, and I'll show you that as well. And then we'll go through what the plan is going into next week. So feeling good, another week down. Let's go and meet the team some coffee. Let's go. Here they are, the boys. Woo! Is that hard? <laughs> Thank you. 
So we are back, it is Monday, so I thought I'd carry on this vlog because today we're going to be meeting up with Tor and going for our first easy run of the week which is going to be an easy AK, so I thought I would bring you with me for that as well. And also I wanted to go through this which is my in-body scan. So one of my good friends, James, owns multiple gyms and he's got access to one of these, so these machines are basically the closest thing that you can get to a DEX scan. So they're around six grand again, so they are pretty reliable. They're around 90% as similar to a DEXA. Whereas if you go into a DEXA scan, you're gonna be charged 400 pound every single go or something like that. So it gives you a good understanding of where you currently are, uh, body fat wise, where you sort of store it. So I thought I would share a little bit with that at the moment. So on here, I'll put where I'm current physique is at. So I'm feeling pretty good at the minute. As I said, like weight's probably a little bit higher than what I would expect it to be, uh, or realistically where I want it to be. But I think based on this, it's now changed the perception of where it is. All I'm probably not happy with is A, the amount of muscle mass that I've got, I'd always like to have more. But B, majority of where I hold my body fat is around my midsection, which again is unfortunate, but it's the case for a lot of men. So if I put the body scan up here, basically this is where I'm currently at. So weight is 96.2 kilos, roughly uh, skeletal mass 50 kilos and body fat percentage is 9.4. So I'm sub 10% body fat, roughly depending on this. Obviously, if you know anything about body scans or scales or anything like that, it sends an electromagnetic current through your body. And again, that can be tweaked slightly depending on how hydrated you are, how much water you've got in the system and stuff like that. So roughly around 10% body fat, maybe a little bit more, I would I would say. Um, but basically, it just gives you a good idea of, of where we're sort of at. I said, if you look on this page, you can see where it is. My body fat, majority of it stored, five kilos of it is around my trunk. My arm, 0.1 kilos, left, right arm, 0.1 kilos, left leg, 1.2, right leg, 1.1. So a pretty lean all over, apart from my midsection, again, which is just the case for a lot of men. And again, if you look at my body uh, lean body mass i.e muscle mass 38 kilos of that is stored in my midsection and um, so i'm guessing that chest trunk is is chest and stomach uh, left arm right arm and then right leg and left leg are pretty good so as you can see from here i'm in average category d which is really good um i said if you're looking at more of a c curve it's something that you want to try and improve bmr it says 26 uh, bmi sorry which shows that you know i'm a little I'm in the obese category, which again doesn't take into account muscle mass. Um, and my hit whip to whip, waist to hip ratio is pretty good as well. And I've got low levels of visceral fat. So overall, that's pretty, pretty good. And as I said, like based on where I'm currently at, I'm quite happy. Um, I just thought I would share that because as I said, last week was a little bit of a boring week in terms of deload. It was a busy week for the business. So I was I was really up the wall and ended up just getting sessions done at 6 p.m. in the night time, which again, if you've ever been in the gym at 6 p.m., it's not a nice experience, especially with the camera. So I didn't document too much last week, but it was a nice steady week. We focused a little bit more on that. We got a little bit of an idea of where we are, and we can take that into the rest of the marathon prep. So will I use that machine in the future? 100% if Jane's left me, and then um, we'll keep an eye on where that sort of is over the next 16 or so weeks going into the Copenhagen marathon. But for now, let's go and run with tour. Let's go. So we are reporting live from the wettest place on earth. Look at the state of this, like, it's wet. It's nine degrees, but it feels about five. And again, don't fact check me on that, but it is definitely the wettest place in the world. <laughs> And there we have it guys, so that's an 8k in the bag of the set with Tor. It's always nice to run with someone else, especially when the weather is dark, it's dingy, it's wet. It's it's horrible because I want to do it, but the days like this make you not want to do it. So again, and these are the ones that matters most. And I said it in the last matter from prep, if you go back to my last YouTube series, is that 
do the work now and it'll reap the rewards come marathon day if i skimp on the work now i will regret it on marathon day so it is delayed gratification over instant gratification that's just how we've got to work when it comes to running when it comes to our body when it comes to physiology so yeah AK in the bag, really good chat, some exciting stuff coming. And again, I'm gonna round the vlog up here. As I said, last week, deload, we're going into a new week. Let's make it count. Excited for episode number four of the Copenhagen Marathon series and some more stuff regarding High Rocks, which I'll inform you in in the next video. Hope you find it useful. Don't forget to drop it a like or subscribe. It does massively help me and the channel. And look forward to seeing you on the next one. Let's go.